This is an historic day for Finland, for Sweden, for NATO and for Euro-Atlantic security. It was the free and independent... Uh, President Putin tried to close NATO's door. We uh, now demonstrate that NATO's door remains open. Well, maybe I can just start by saying that... ...any threat and so that we can show unity within the alliance. Thank you. I commend uh, all allies for moving so quickly in accepting Finland and Sweden's applications for membership. And I want to thank Turkey, Finland and Sweden for their constructive approach. The trilateral agreement they signed at the Madrid summit made today possible. I know all three parties are working hard on the implementation and robust follow through especially in the fight against terrorism. Member country ratified uh, Finland's uh, protocol, but not... Uh, I really hope for a, for a quick ratification process. Uh, and as you know, we made a memorandum of understanding between Finland, Sweden and Turkey to um, address the concern of Turkey when it comes to security and uh, terrorism. And we will honor that memorandum and follow up on that. Uh, and we will also have a joint mechanism. So I hope that the three countries, Sweden, Finland, and Turkey, could see that this is a good memorandum that leads to that the Turkish parliament also feel that they can ratify our agreement. Uh, a reason why we shouldn't be able to have it also when it comes. And all the requests for extradition will go the normal way in our legislation. And it's uh, finally the High Court to take the, the, the decisions. And this has happened uh, during the last years and it will continue to happen this year. But we will, of course, have uh, more uh, cooperation to get information and so on. But uh, there will be no other ways, uh, other legal ways than what we have uh, already. 60 and then it went up to 73 during the negotiations. He also said, while it's... In this document and in this memorandum, we have actually addressed all those concerns that also Turkey had raised, including the terrorism, the PKK issue and so forth, and all those steps that are necessary to be taken are mentioned in the memorandum. So I'm, I'm very much thinking that based on that cooperation that we agreed, uh, we can go forward and also hopefully please the concerns of Turkey at, at this moment. This concludes this uh, press conference. Thank you.